Well, hello there. I'm, of course, John Doe right here in Tokyo, Japan. And we're doing another edition of the Ghost Hunters Report. Now, this video was something that I actually had to think a little bit about before I actually did it. Because what we're talking about here is something that it really doesn't matter what I say. I'm going to catch a lot of heat and a lot of flack for it. Because I'm, so, I'm some type of supposed uh, macho man, cis white male who's fucking evil you know needs to die but don't worry I've heard it all before so you really have to come up with something unique and something new to really impress me so with that said yeah I'm talking about gender sexuality and capitalism now I've noticed with a lot of uh, movements recently about relating to gender and sexuality it truly really seems to be about identity personal identity and that's what the focus is. It's who I am, what I look like, what I'm comfortable being, and if anybody doesn't like it, they can fuck off. They're evil. Yeah. Very liberal, guys. You know. Now, from a Marxist looking at this, I say you're really, you know, that really is not going to change anything in society. Because you say movements want to talk about, we just want to change society. But it really doesn't get it done. Here's why. When you focus on identity, and only identity, only personal identity, you're actually falling right into the bourgeois capitalist trap of having the very essence of human life commodified. Oh, you don't believe me? Well, look at how society is now. We are sold a product called gender identity and sexual identity. Dress this way, dress that way, behave like this, behave like that, buy these clothes, hold these positions, and you can buy that nice little package of identity, and you can call yourself a special little snowflake. What does that really accomplish? You're playing into capitalism. You're playing into the, the, the superstructures and substructures which perpetuate capitalism in a society. You're not really achieving anything. You're not really doing anything. Now what would be a far more revolutionary thing to do? Be to question the relevance of gender and sexuality as it comes to all human beings being, being equal in society. Yeah, there's a revolutionary idea for you kids. Instead of, you know, going on about Here's who I am, here's who I am, accept me, accept me, damn it. How about we more focus on neutralizing that? To where that's not needed to do. Well, the only thing we need to focus on being is human beings, being ourselves. To where it's not necessary for us to make a big stink about our personal identity. And then have that so-called personal identity sold to us in a packaged, sweet little deal we can wear and say, I'm this. You see how, how, how much folly there is in this. But then again, you know, I'm an evil, cis, white, male bastard who's oppressing all of you. What I'm really doing is trying to analyze this, understand this, how it relates to society and how it relates to revolution. And I don't see how this is going to change society. You know, because as soon as you create these type of um, gender identities or these sexual identities, I'm telling you, it's commodified instantly under capitalism and it's sold back to you as a product, as a package. But listen to me, I don't know. I doubt it. You know, that's how, really how I see it. So question the relevance of these things in, in creating equal human beings. That's far more revolutionary than what was currently going on. But I didn't want this video to go on too long. Short and sweet, you know. So, I want to hear what you got to say about this. Comment box below. First time you see me, hey, subscribe. Lots of stuff like this. Plus newsy stuff. When I get a chance, I'll go out and do something on the street from time to time. So until next time, this is me, John Doe in Tokyo. Checking out.